Holy Spirit is our helper. John 15 and verse 26. But when the helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. Jesus said that he would send us the helper, the Holy Spirit. And uh, it is very interesting to observe the way Jesus communicated that to us. In the Greek, it's the word allos parakletos. I will send you another helper. Now that word another means of the same kind as opposed to something of a different kind. So he said, I will send you allos parakletos, another helper just like me. So the Holy Spirit has come to be our helper. He's come to be alongside us. He has come to dwell in us. And he's come to be to us exactly all that Jesus would have been to us if he was present here himself. And so that's why Jesus said he is another helper, allos parakletos, just like me. And so I want you to have that assurance that the Lord Jesus himself is with you because the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit is in you. Jesus said, I will come to you in the person of the Holy Spirit. Now, how would, how would life be if the Lord Jesus Christ was with you physically all the time? I mean, uh, you, life would just be totally different. You would look at things from a very different perspective. You will look at the storms of life in a very different perspective. You will look at the challenges in a very different perspective. You will look at the needs of people in a very different, with a very different perspective. If Jesus was with you right there next to you physically. Now, although Jesus is not with us physically, the Holy Spirit is with us. And He being with us is the same, the exact same thing as if Jesus was with us personally present. And he's come to be our helper. Now Jesus said, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. That means he's with us to the person of the Holy Spirit. Now the word parakletos, which we translate with one English word, helper, actually uh, is, is a multifaceted word in the Greek. It talks about helper. It talks about being a comforter. It talks about being a strengthener talks about being stand, a standby, somebody standing right beside you, talks about being a counselor, talks about being an intercessor, and talks about someone being your advocate. So that one word helper really is representing seven facets of what the Holy Spirit has come to do for you and me as being the helper, the representation or representative of Christ himself in our lives. So remember, the Holy Spirit is your helper throughout the day in everything you do. You may be in school or in college, in a place of work, in a place of business. You may be doing difficult things, handling difficult matters, but the Spirit of God is with you. He is your helper. So what do we do? We talk to Him. We commune with Him. We receive of the aid He's come to bring to us. We ask Him for it and we receive from Him. So Holy Spirit, thank you. You give me wisdom in this matter. Thank you. You guide me to make the right decision. Thank you. You show me how to relate to this person well. In all these matters, in everyday matters, He is our helper. Learn to receive the help He's come to bring for you. Let's pray. Spirit of God, we thank you that you are our helper. You've come to be all that Jesus would be to us. We receive your help. We receive everything you give to us. Thank you for being our helper. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.